Look at these baby magpie guys. Look at this. Hey guys, it's Dennis here. And there's Gulika. Hi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to tell you, a lot of people have been asking, like when we found pie and maple last year, what's it like in that alley? Did we ever find anything out? Like what was happening to those birds? Well, we never did, but the other day, Kulika thought she'd go back there and uh, well, I'll let her tell you the story. Yeah, uh, I have been a kind of, you know, in a way I've been dreading this spring because uh, I have always known that I'm gonna want to go and check out that back alley again to see what's going on there. And uh, and uh, just another day I, I went there, uh, rode my bike through that back alley and uh, and uh, so enough there was a dead bird, there was a, it was a magpie and uh, it was looked like an adult magpie and it was right on that back uh, alley. There. And I, I was just really disturbed when I saw that. I was just so disgusted. So when Kulika got home, she told me about that. And I said, what? Again? Not that I'm surprised, because, you know, if there's some creep living there doing that, they obviously didn't move, and they would have to move out of there for that to stop. So we thought, uh, let's call the wildlife rehabilitation here and ask for some advice. Like... Can they investigate that alley and see what's going on? And she said, unfortunately, crows and magpies, they're not on a protected species list here. So unless somebody is shooting them with a gun, it's not illegal. So that's pretty sad to hear that, but there's nothing really we can do. So the day after that day when she went there, she went back again there, and guess what? Check it out, guys! Look at this! A baby magpie! Wow! What's the story on this, Kulika? Yeah, after seeing that uh, dead magpie there another day, I, I was just so horrified and I, I felt like I had to go back and check to see what, if there are any, any birds uh, in need there, because uh, that was adult magpie and uh, so I thought he would probably, it's a breeding season and he might well have had his chicks there. So I went back there and that's what I found, so he was sitting there at the, at the edge of the, of the back alley, right, right, right close to that same area where, uh, where that dead bird was. And what kind of condition so, was he in? And he was, uh, he, he was sitting there and he, he did not uh, walk away from me or nothing, so I had no hesitation, I just scooped him up and got out of there because I, I felt like uh, <clears throat> this is my chance to save this bird at least, so because it could well be the next time when I go there, there are more dead birds there. So, so at least this one will survive now. You weren't going to leave him in that alley, I that's for gonna, sure. No way I was going to leave him there. So, Yeah, it's just unfortunate that uh, in that area there, around that back, back alley and these gardens there, there's lots of big trees, so just huge trees. Like the one tree that would just cover the whole uh, backyard in some of those yards. And uh, wherever there are big trees, of course, birds are nesting there. So. Obviously, they they just find some kind of shelter there, but then it kind of looks like somebody lives there who doesn't like birds, at least those birds, uh, like magpies and crows. And uh, I've noticed that for years, that every time I ride through, like around the springtime, when there is nesting season and these birds are noisy, and I always see dead birds there, dead magpies and dead crows, so it looks like someone is just doesn't like these birds, so they are just getting rid of them. So that's the impression I have got. So yeah, we're looking after this baby magpie right now, and and if he comes imprinted on us, we'll be keeping him. And a pie would have a, a little partner. So that's okay about that, and we sure weren't going to leave him in that alley to see if he can have a wild life, because you know the history of that alley. Also, I got some other news for you guys. Check this out, guys, another magpie. This one's a little older though. Actually a friend of ours came over this morning and she said that this bird was stuck in some fencing on her property. And uh, she didn't want to leave the magpie there because she has dogs and everything. She lives out of town and she was worried about the bird's safety. So naturally she just brought the bird to us. Look at that. So 
what we're going to do is we're going to give this one a chance for a wildlife. So I called the wildlife rehabilitation a little earlier today and told them about this situation. And would they like to take this magpie and then eventually release to the wild? And they said, sure. So we're going to be going there in a couple of days and we'll film that. We'll document that. We'll show you. That's where actually Cherry came from, where we adopted him. And then we'll take this little magpie there and then we'll find out how they do it, like their procedure. I think they, they let it uh, get used to other wild birds and then they release them together in a special area, like later on in the year or something. So yeah, we want to give this bird a chance at a wild life. Yeah, Kulik has been feeding this little guy quite often and offering water all the time. And he's been eating pretty good, actually. He's getting stronger. Yeah, he was very clumsy when I picked him up. So within these few days that we have had him, he had made a huge uh, success, like uh, progress. Yeah, this one's a lot younger than the one I just showed you. But he or she has no name yet. And we don't know, of course, if it's a he or she, but... There's lots of time to find that out. Yeah, he just recently learned how to drink water, so I'm so happy to see that. <laughs> so guys, we'll film a video when we, we take this little guy to the wildlife rehabilitation. And maybe we can talk to someone there. But some people are shy, they don't want to be on camera, so we'll see. But we'll show you the setup there where Cherry came from. And where this little guy is going to stay for a while. But yeah, we're going to get you released back to the wild. You're getting a little bigger here and you deserve a wildlife. But yeah, our friend was worried about the bird's safety, so that's why she brought him to us. So there's always something going on in this house. <laughs> hey guys, what news? So thanks for watching, and if you're new here, please subscribe. And also, don't forget about that notification bell. I say that quite a bit, but maybe some of you don't know that. Click that so you're always notified when we get new videos out. So we'll see you in the next video when we take that little guy to the wildlife rehab.